Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spin Family Fellowship. My name is Andreas the Norwegian Viking and today I'm joined by Carl Ivar. And today we play a battle in the Battle Companies campaign season 3. Uh, you can watch all the other Battle Companies uh, series on our YouTube channel as well. But this is of course in season 3 and it's the first game of both of us. Because um, we joined in round 3 uh, of them joining at the beginning. So you are playing Eastlings. Okay. Yeah. Um, not quite finished painted yet. Uh, well, they're black and red. <laughs> <laughs> they're black and red, but sadly uh, that means you have to get painting soon. Yep. Because you are uh, you are um, on the raw recruits rule, so all your models suffer minus one in um, perch and minus one in fight. I didn't need that anyways. Oh, and uh, against my hobbits, I'm fight one. So and you would have had lower fight value against my range. Anyway, uh, this at this stage in the campaign um, as we go along. So um, I have low rating and I chose uh, just to keep it simple to the death scenario. We have already deployed, so let's show you the board and the armies now. So here we have the battlefield and uh, Karl Ivar's Eastlings has uh, deployed quite far into the table. He has his lieutenant in the forest. Uh, one sergeant with a bow um, Eastling warrior and the other sergeant with a bow Eastling warrior there. My hobbits being sneaky, they have hidden behind uh, the walls and partially uh, in, the, uh, in the rocks over here. This is of course to the death, the game lasts until one player is uh, below 33%. So that's you on two models left and me on four models left. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's get cracking. We roll for priority for turn one. It's a four for me. And Hobbit starts with priority. Okay. Uh, so let's come back. Uh, any heroics, by the way? Nine. No. So we'll come back after movement. So we're back. Um, surprisingly, Hobbit stood quite still. They didn't want to move that much. Uh, this one moved behind the pile of rocks over there. Uh, the Hobbits, this one shuffled a bit. But the Eastlings are coming forwards. These two ones hiding behind the rock. This one moving so that he could shoot. Uh, both of these guys behind here uh, moved too far to shoot and obviously these don't have any bows so uh, I will now commence my um, bow fire we will um, go first with my um, sergeant without the spear uh, he can't see any model clearly so he will shoot at the uh, front uh, warrior with the shield uh, hitting on a three plus since he's moved, uh, since he has moved. Hits. Yep. Does it go through the uh, wood on a four plus? It goes through. Another six will do it. No, 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 no. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, it's a two. Okay. So then this guy, the sergeant with the spear, will shoot at the um, Eastling warrior with bow. I'm invincible. He, he can see him clearly. From here, give you the perfect line of sight. So he moved. Oh, cock dice. Cock dice. Ah, if he didn't move, it would have been a hit. Okay. Next one is my lieutenant hitting at your lieutenant. Oh, okay. You can see him clearly. Now the rain is gone. Let's give you the line of sight. There he is. Second from the left. So hitting on threes. Oh. Hits. Oh. Can he wound on the six? Oh, oh, oh. oh I, I, knew, I knew it would knock off my molten. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you and he, <laughs> and he doesn't have two points of might, so that won't do. So then we have this guy, um, seeing the lieutenant clearly as well. Oh. So I'll try and teach your lieutenant. You can do it. Hits. Oh. Can, can he, he wound? Oh. oh, it's a six! And that's a wound. Yeah. So fate points, you have to make it because you only have one wound. Yeah. Come on! Let's do it! And it's a pass. So you've passed your fate point, but he's out of uh, fate. So which one was this? This is warrior number two. 
And that is, of course, Tolman Hornblower gets an experience point. Tolman Hornblower gets an experience. See, I'm invincible. You can never kill me. <laughs> then you fell. <laughs> and then this guy will shoot at your Eastling warrior with Spear in the woods. So let's do this. We don't hit. Uh, all my uh, all my um, rocks are out of uh, range. So then it's your single shot shooting at what target? Look at this, look at this. This is gonna be game winning. So I'm firing at this guy. Okay. Do you have range? I have 24 range, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I had range to you. So you, of course, have range to me. Yeah. Alright, so I need a uh, 5 plus. Need a 5 plus since you moved, yeah? Oh, 5 plus. Oh, it's a 4 and you don't have my turn in. Okay, so that was the first turn. Uh, only one fate expended, but no casualties so far. Let's go for party. And it's a three, so I get to move first. Let's see, this will be easy, uh, I think. Um, the hobbits will move four inches over here as a command group. The rest of my models will stand still. Uh, all models that can pick up rocks will do it. <laughs> And then we'll come back when you have moved. Okay, so the scene after movement in turn two, we have an Eastling sergeant coming in on the uh, on the right hand side of the board. Both Eastling bowmen are staying still, while the wounded lieutenant courageously hides behind a um, a pikeman, while the other pikeman also moving out of woods while the third sergeant or second sergeant is hiding in a crack behind a building. He's sneaking! Sadly he cannot see my hobbit so no charge the next turn uh, but it will make some problems for my shooting because not many of your models is out in the open. So we will uh, we will see here first. So we can take this hobbit first. It has clear line of sight to your um, your uh, pike uh, armored Eastling. Uh, let's do this. Not do the purple unicorn dice. <laughs> so uh, let's go. Three plus. It's a hit. Can we get a six? No, 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 six no, no, is no, the no, counting. No, it is not a. Uh, the next one. Does he see as well? He does see him clearly as well. <laughs> Yeah, he has a bow. Yeah, he has a bow. There's two guys with bows. These two, yeah. So we hit him on freeze. No, oh, it's a miss. Then we have my lieutenant. Uh, the lieutenant will fire at, at your lieutenant passing through the warrior in front. No. He misses, I will not use my point to hit. Then this guy will shoot at your bowman. Shooting back at you. <laughs> Hits. Oh, okay. Can he get a six? Can he get a six? No, no. Oh, it's a six! So that's an experience point for Malvegil. Malvegil gets an experience point. And that one goes down. So my last bow is this one. Shooting at that guy in the open. Hitting on threes. And it's a one, so no hit. Uh, none of my um, none of my rocks are in range, so then it's your shooting. You have one guy behind there. What does he uh, What does he shoot at? Would you say he has a clear line of fire since he's standing like inside the woods? Or just yeah, I would I would say you have a clear line of fire. Yeah. All right. Then I will launch the nukes at this guy. Oh yeah, for, for him he's partially obscured by the... Uh, okay, oh, this guy? The Hobbit is fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll shoot at the Hobbit. Yeah, Hobbit. Launch the nukes! Yes! Hits! Okay, needing a five. No, oh, it's a four. And not a hero, so you can't might it. Okay, priority turn three. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Five, six, six. Oh. And it goes to you since I had it last. Yes! Now! So, do your worst, we'll come back after we have commenced movement, or finished movement, that is. So, this is the situation after movement. We have the lone sergeant, not lone ranger, because that's him. Uh, he is uh, just behind the, uh, the rocks, ready to launch his attack. 
on four hobbits and ranger. Um, he stood still, the guy with the bow. Uh, and on this side we have the lieutenant, um, not exactly leading the charge, but he's uh, sauntering behind. Uh, with an arrow in his chest um, and trying to do his worst. So on this side, um, this hobbit has stood still, this hobbit has stood still and picked up a rock. He has moved a bit, these guys have moved, he has moved. Uh, and my uh, lieutenant has moved up behind the other ranger to see your bow guy. So you shoot first with your bow guy. What do you want to shoot at? This guy, the long ranger. Oh. Yeah, um, we have to check line of sight first because you you can shoot through your own models because you're evil. But and I think he's a bit higher, so I would guess that's okay. But still, in the way for the rocks. Yeah. So plus three. Yeah. Go ahead. But it's a one, so it doesn't hit. Okay. Um, so I'll go first with this guy shooting at your bow guy. Yep. And that should be an open and clear shot. Getting on force. Hits. Needing a six to it. Oh, it's not a six. Okay. So then we shoot uh, my lieutenant against uh, the bow guy in cover. Hits. Does it go through the woods? It does. No. Can I get the six? No, I can't. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a one. All the side of the dice. And then the sergeant in front will hit the same target. Hits. Woods. Goes through the woods. And no. Okay. Then we have one bow from the Hobbit, leading in the way for the ruin. Doesn't hit. And then we have the bow behind, uh, who moved, so four plus. Nope. And then the rock. Oh, oh, three ones in a row. That's incredible. Okay, so uh, I guess it is your move, uh, well, priority. Our priority for turn four. So it's two. And you get it this turn. So you can get one model into charge. Yes. <laughs> we will do this. Yeah, I won't call any heroics. I'll save my mind. Perfect. Yep. Yep. I will guess I'll move. You will move and then we'll come back after movement. So, we are finally in close combat. This one sergeant charged two hobbits and was countercharged by one more hobbit and my lieutenant. Uh, the hobbit in here has um, moved into the ruin. This other one has moved in behind the ruin. He has also moved behind so that you can't see him with your, your, uh, your bowman. Uh, and this guy has stood still. So you shoot first. Yep. So go ahead. Uh, the, the lone marksman is shooting at the lone ranger. Yes, yes, good. Four plus? Yeah. No, three, no, five plus he moved. Five plus he moved, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, firstly, he will shoot back, the lone ranger, but he will shoot at this guy in the back. What? Uh -huh. it is... <laughs> it's a hit. How dare you? Another you used, you used up your six. No, no, you another one. Ow, oh, what is this? No, no, it's it's a sergeant. I don't think he has removed his fate point yet. No, he hasn't. No. That's true. So you have a save. Come on, come on, come on. Woo. And it's passed, but it's an, another experience for Malvigil taking away a fate point. Malvigil, I don't believe that. He's like us. He has to be. <laughs> it, it doesn't shoot three arrows a turn, though. Uh, okay, so next up we have this guy. Uh, I think he will shoot at the same guy again. So, we don't hit. Okay. So then we have the Hobbit inside the ruin. Hits on four plus on the, um, on the uh, pike. And uh, he's sling warrior. Hits. Can he wound on a six? No. And then this guy will shoot at the pikeman in the second rank. Oh, 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 oh. And it doesn't hit. And that's all my fire this turn, because my lieutenant is in close combat. So I guess we will do the close combat now? Yep. Yep. So, I guess I'll be shielding. So I have three hobbits. I will declare a bash, a piercing strike, a feint, and this guy will strike normally. So, uh, how many dice will you get? Uh, four. I'm gonna shield. You're gonna shield? Yep. Okay. 
Right. Let's see what you set the bar at. Come on! Oh, it's a four. Uh, let's go for a white dice with my lieutenant. Woo! This is incredible. Good that you shielded because I can't mind that up. So you push me back one inch. Wow. Yeah, he's gonna make all the difference. That's brilliant. Very, very brilliant. Okay. So uh, we have uh, priority, I guess. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's a four. I'll it's a four. I'll get this turn. I'll get this turn. You see? Oh, <laughs> it's a three. You'll do a heroic move? Yes. I will let you have it. All right. Yep. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to move on the Yeah, we'll come back after movement. Uh, yes. Okay, so after movement, we have the uh, ever confident bow armed guy in the middle. Uh, we have a horde of combats in the middle of the board. You have a guy who failed jumping down through the window, uh, but he doesn't didn't kill himself, so that's at least good. Uh, so we have my sergeant surrounded, but was counter-charged by some hobbits. So we have a two-on-one, a one-on-one, a one-on-one, and three-on-one there. Uh, these guys moved up. They can't throw rocks this turn. This guy stood still, and this guy stood still. So my shooting is first since I had priority. We will shoot with this ranger on this guy, the sergeant. Shooting him in the back. No, I rolled six. So we hit, another six will do it. Come on! No, it's the other side of the dice. Haven't I haven't you, told you anything. Two dice. So this one, shooting at this guy, straight in front of him. I swear. It doesn't hit. Uh, and that is all the shots I have this turn. Your guy? Yes. Shooting at the Lone Ranger, I presume? Yes. Yep. His marksmanship is unprecedented. <laughs> Although he will not shoot at the Lone Ranger. Okay. He will shoot at this guy. At uh, the Hobbit. Uh, I must three. remind you that you are standing directly behind the tree trunk, not on the side, so you can't actually see that guy. How dare you? How about that guy? Where is you. That? I, I will allow you to move him a bit if you want. Okay. Yeah. So far, plus one. Yeah. Right. So then I'll hit the mole guy. Yeah. Five plus. No. No, it's a one. It wouldn't have hit anyway. No, it wouldn't. Okay, so I choose the combat. Uh, we will take this one first. That's two hobbits against one uh, one Eastling. I will paint and I will bash. Um, let's see. If you faint, you go down to the same fight value as me. That means there's a roll of it's a draw. Yeah, I'll just hit normal. You, you wound me on 4 pluses anyway. Yeah. So 4 plus re rolling once isn't that big a difference. Yeah, so yeah, I'll just hit me normally though. Yeah. So let's see what you get. So let's see, it's one dice for you, right? Yeah, one dice for you. I roll a 5 highest. But you get a six, so they are pushed back. So can you wound? You would need a four plus. Which one do you want to go for? Uh, the, sh the stabby, stabby guy. The stabby guy. Okay. Yes. But it's not a wound, and he doesn't have any uh, any might points. Okay. So then we can do the combat where you're trapped. So I will faint. I will faint, and I will piercing strike. Yes. I will hit normally, I guess, because I can't do anything else. You have a shield, if you want a shield. You're three, like, you're three half, like, so... It, so technically, I'm just fighting one, one and a half man. You'll risk it? Yeah. Oh, okay, you'll risk it. Oh, it's strong, it's what? a five, I need a six. No. It's a six! <laughs> So that means the attacks are doubled, uh, my piercing strike goes up by one, so that means I'm a strength of uh, three, still needing sixes. Um, so two sixes from that guy, no, uh, and then the um, archer, no six, and then the stabby stabby guy who fainted, 
It's a one, it's a reroll. Let's see, a six. No, they can't do it. So um, they have to move a bit and he has to move a bit. Okay. Just can't do it, Captain. So then we have a one on one yep. against this guy. I'll hit normally. I will not piercing strike. I should have piercing strike. Because I win that combat, he's pushed back. And then I will see if I can wound. Uh, it will be a six now. No! And this is who is this? This is number warrior number four. So that's uh, one, two, three, four. That is Holfoot Baggins. He's a Baggins. He does some damage. Okay. So finally, we have the main event. It's Lieutenant Off, both with a might point. No, you lost your might point due to the heroic move. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so we have the Lieutenant off. Uh, we both have one strike each. Let's see what you can do. Oh, It's sixes all around, but my fight value is four. Yours is sadly two. Uh, should have been three. So he is pushed back. Uh, I have a strength of three. You have a defense of six. So that's a six plus for me. Can he do it? No, he can't. So, so far you have lost two models uh, against zero of mine, but Eastlings do best in combat against Hobbits, so we will see who gets priority this turn. So, it's a six for the Hobbits. So, if I roll six, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a two. So, I get priority. We'll come back after movement. So, we are back. And all of your Eastlings in this combat has now been surrounded, uh, with the exception of this guy though. He is not surrounded actually, uh, he is still, uh, still standing um, so that he can, uh, can move back, because I couldn't move around them. The Hobbits were a bit cowardly, they moved back uh, so that he couldn't charge them, so he then moved behind the tree to not get shot in the clear way by this guy. So that means that this guy will now fire at your bow guy behind the tree. So still needing in the way roll. Yep. We'll see what he uh, gets. He hits. Oh. It doesn't oh. go through the tree. Okay. You have a shot back. You can either fire at the hobbits or you can fire this guy. Ah, uh, let's shoot at some hobbits. Hobbits. Uh, the axe guy right there. The axe guy in front. Okay. So I hit. You hit. And it will be five plus to wound. Come on! Oh! And who is this? This is number nine. That is number nine of the warriors. That is. So that is. Oh, it's on the other side of the sheet. Uh, that should be fourteen brass proudfoot is now down for the count. And uh, my amazing bowman, Sosh, gains one experience. He does, he does gain experience. So the proud foot is down and uh, possibly something bad will happen to him. We don't know. Okay, so then we have some close combats. We do. Um, mm, 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 mm. Why do you always have the habit of surrounding me? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we can do the one with the three hobbits and the two hobbits and ranger against this guy. Um, actually, no. We will do a heroic combat with this guy. So we will, um, yeah, we will do heroic combat. So we'll do that one first. Uh, he will faint. He will bash. I will shield. Ah, but then again, no, no, no hero combat. We'll just do it normally. Yeah. So we'll do this one first. We have fainting, normal striking, and piercing strike. I will normal strike. I'm fighting uh, just one and a half man. Oh! Again, you do it. I nailed it. Actually, there's a full, full man. Oh, that's he a is a ranger. Oh, okay. But then again, I can't do it. You are lucky. You are lucky, sir. 
Okay, so my piercing strike goes down by uh, three, so you will wound him on three plus. And this guy on, uh, on a five. Alright, we'll wound him on my five plus. Ooh, you go for the ranger. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, damn. You would have taken down the hobbit? Yeah. Uh, okay. I got cocky though. So let's do your lieutenant last. So you'll do my lieutenant now. Yeah. So we will bash, we will uh, faint, and we will strike normally. And I will shield. So I have a might point in there somewhere. So we'll do a Witch King dice for my lieutenant. Yeah. And you do it again. <laughs> you get a six highest. My might point is on a one. I can't do it. I just can't pull it in close combat. Yeah, put him on the chair if you want to. We'll clean up afterwards, that's fine. Can I... F Good that I didn't do the horror combat though. Because I would have lost my might point. Uh, the last combat, we have a hobbit. Uh, well, we have three hobbits. That is, against your lieutenant. Yeah, I will no, no, no strike this. So I will faint, and I will faint, and I will piercing strike. We get the six, and you get a one. So your lieutenant is down. Uh, no, well, not down and out yet. We have uh, the piercing strike going up to strength four. So that should wound you on fives now. Yes. So there's double strikes. And no, it doesn't do it. The bow guy doesn't do it. And the last one will do it on a six. I can't do it. What is this? I can't do it. Okay, uh, the game continues. Priority. What is this? Uh, it goes to you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you just go ahead, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll come back after a moment. So we are back and uh, another Eastling has joined the fray. So I'm now not outnumbering you as uh, well as I did before. Um, but more, more hobbits are coming in. More hobbits are coming in. So firstly, we have the amazing shoot-off. We have the ranger against a... Uh, Lone Bowman. Lone range against the Lone Bowman. So, um, you fire, fire first since you won party. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, the American sniper is firing at the uh, Hobbit. The American sniper. So, the Hobbit is in cover from the tree though. Yeah. Yeah. So, you hit on force. No. Oh, okay. He will fire back at you. Let's do this now. We hit. No. It does go by past the three, yeah. uh, but did I spend my six prematurely? I did, and he doesn't have a might point. Oh, so close, <laughs> so close. Okay, so which fighting order do you want to fight in? This one. So you want to fight your lieutenant first in case he wins and thus he will become untrapped? Yes. So I have a might point still on my lieutenant. Yes. Uh, so we have three hobbits, one will piercing strike, two will faint. I will shield. You will shield. Yeah. Okay. Six. We get the six this time and we have the higher fight value. Damn it. <laughs> so that means finally I won a combat, even when you roll the six. Okay. So I guess I will do my lieutenant first. He will double strike against you, needing sixes. Yeah. Oh. And will I spend the might? Oh, this is tough. I will spend the might. So I spent the might, and he goes down because he spent his fate point already. Um, so this sergeant has a fate point left. He doesn't because he lost it from bow fire. Yeah. So that is uh, the Lieutenant Bergil will get an experience point. And then which fight do you want to go next? He's still trapped though. Yeah, he's still trapped. I will regular fight. I will strike normally and uh, faint. Three, three, three. Oh, so you win it on fight value? Yeah. Oh no. 
You need uh, force to ruin the hobbit. Uh, nothing with fight. It's only go down fight value, not uh, defense. Piercing strike is defense. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So I'll uh, kill the stabby stabby guy. Stabby stabby. I'll hopefully kill the stabby stabby guy. I'll kill the stabby stabby guy. You do. So that sergeant gets a experience point. Yes. My hobbit number eleven is down. That is uh, Harding Buffin. Yeah. So that's a buffin. Cool she gets, a, gets some experience. Yeah. So I will need to kill two more of your models and you will need to kill uh, eight more of me. Alright, this combat. This combat, I will piercing strike and I will faint. I will normal strike. Okay. I need to get the six! No! I get the six! Awesome. So piercing strike goes up by uh, two, so that's a five plus to wound. Five plus. No. And the fainting guy needing six re-rolling ones. No. Should have been the other way around. Yes. He still lives. And the ranger against your sergeant. My ranger will normal strike. My guy will normal strike as well. You can faint because you're lower fight value. You know what? Yeah, I'll faint. Yeah. I win it. Oh, move you behind. Uh, I will wound you on sixes. No. Okay, but there's one less hobbit, one less Eastling. One, trading one Eastling for a hobbit is good. <laughs> so, priority, important one. And it goes to the Shire. So we will come back after movement. Okay, so we are back. Um, battle has been joined by three new hobbits. So two of them are out, but that leaves me a net one hobbit. Uh, so we have loads of fights. Uh, this one has moved though. We have moved a bit. So we will shoot, but now with four plus only. Let's see if we can take out your uh, bow guy. I hit. Do I go through the tree? We go through the tree. I, I, I have I have a third dice. Let's see if we can triple sixes. No! Yes! It's a triple six. And that wins the game, I think. No, you still have three models left. Then I have to get two models. No, two two models because it's thirty-three percent. You have seven models. That means two left on the board. Alright. Uh, so, but there's still a chance that I can kill one of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll do combat first. Um, we can do the one with my um, my hero. Yeah. So, I will piercing strike and faint. Yeah. I will uh, hit normally. I have lost my might point. So, I, I, well, I used my might point, so no might point left. I'll hit normally. Oh, I, I get the six. Ah, oh, finally. So piercing strike goes up by two. So that's uh, wounding on fives. I will try to wound you with my uh, lieutenant first, getting him a might point. No, a um, another experience point. And I do. Uh, but he hasn't lost his fate yet. No, he hasn't. I'll use it. But he didn't manage to get it. That gives me two experience points. One for your fate point. One for the wound. Done. So, Kursi takes a wound. So, after this turn, the game will end. Yeah. So, we can take this one with all the hobbits. Yeah. So, we have a piercing strike, a faint, and two normal strikes. I will shield. You get a six, so that means you win it because I can't win the combat. Okay. So, one guy is saved though. And on, in this fight, we'll piercing strike, we'll faint, we'll faint. Yeah. Yep. You get a three highest, it's not good. And we get the double sixes with the hobbits. Uh, my piercing strike goes up by three. It's still fives. Um, let's see now. My, my hero hasn't gained an experience yet, so I'll try to wound you with that one first. No wounds, no wounds at all. The piercing striking hobbit on fives. No. Uh, the fainting bow guy. Rerolling the one. No, no rerolling a reroll. Will he survive? Will he survive? Yes, he survives. I couldn't wound him. So thanks for the. 
two hobbits down, five Eastlings. Uh, I win the game. So let's calculate some experience points, getting ready for the wounding or the injury rolls, and we'll come back with that. So we are back with the Hobbit's injury rolls. We have uh, 14 boss Proudfoot. He will miss the next game. So he has got to miss. Uh, we have Hudding Buffin. He dies! No! No! Puffin dies! I mean, yes! <laughs> uh, still will fight in the next game though, in the same round. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, my injury rules? Yes. So, we have, uh, first of all, the archer. Oh, yep. wait, this guy? No, wait, it was this guy. Sosh. Sosh, yeah. So, he... Three. He misses next game. Yep. Well, not the next one. You will fight again on Wednesday. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Yep. And then we have uh, one of our uh, sergeants, Korshi. Korshi, roll two dice for him. Two dice. Next one. Wow! You get the wounds of a hero. Uh, the hero, uh, the hero's patrons are impressed with his performance. The hero makes a full recovery, and the battle company gains d6 gold. Damn! So roll the d6. One. Oh, you get one gold, but it still makes a full recovery. Yep. So plus one gold for you this now. So plus one G. Okay. Yes. And after that, we have uh, our warband leader, Karen. Yeah, Karen. Roll two dice. So eight. Eight is just a scratch. Uh, the hero must miss the next game, or you can roll again. The second result will stand. Uh, Most people roll that again. Yeah, I'll roll again. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, 11 again! So full recovery and D6 gold. I guess four. So four gold total for you so far. Yep. Um, okay. Right. Who, who survived? Um, Your two... It was just two guys. It was, it was uh, Enoch and Rooney. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, not, not this guy. You went. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I'm those right. two survived. Yeah. yeah. And then we have uh, Nieder, yep. our second ranger. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, guard. I mean, he will roll the wounds table. Oh, two. he must miss the next game as well. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and then we will have a Rune, Rune. Rune? Oh, Niru, sorry. Niru, okay. He will miss this game as well. Nobody died though, so that's good. That's pretty good. But you have three models missing next round so far. So, so she's missing. Uh, let's see. Guard is missing. And Nero is missing. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah. So, do you want to go ahead and roll for your gold? You get d6 plus one gold for the entire game. So, six gold. So, you have a net gain of ten gold in this game. Even I have to get a six to get as equal amount of gold as you. I get a four, so I get eight gold total for this game. So worth it. <laughs> so, eight gold. Uh, but it, I do have two heroes getting advancements. So, two of my rangers. This guy and my ranger captain. So, I will now roll on the advancement table. I get a one. That's a fight value, I believe. Uh, going up to... Or oh, I can improve my shoot value. Two plus shoot value. I already have I already have a high fight value of four. So I will improve my shoot value to two plus. Um, two plus. So uh, this one gets a three and that is courage or will point. Um, I will take... well, Ulrich is full of magic now, so I'll take a will point. 
I'll take will point in need. Okay, so uh, that is the result of the game. How much experience do you need for leveling up? Five. So, uh, so yeah, one dead hobbit, one injured hobbit, no dead guys from you at all. But I can, I can buy myself two new hobbits. With I the amount of gold. Are you that cold hearted? I'm How sorry. Can you live with yourself? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, thanks again, Kalivar, for the game. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, from me, Andres, Norwegian Viking, and Kalivar, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and support your Hobbit hobby.